Welcome to part 2 of the top 10 illustrator tools that beginners should master. In our last tutorial, I showed you that the selection tool was basically used to move objects around the stage. Now we're going to focus on the direct selection tool. So we still have our black rectangle from the last tutorial, and you remember that the selection tool could just grab an object and move it around the stage or make it smaller or bigger. Now the direct selection tool on the other hand is a little more specific in what it grabs in that you can if you click in the middle of an object it acts as the selection tool and you can move it around but you can't scale the whole image with the direct selection tool but you can grab points which this rectangle has four of them and you can take one of these points and you can manipulate it and move it anywhere you want to make a new shape whereas the selection tool any point you grab on here is going to select everything in there so the selection tool let's go back to our starting shape so we can also select individual points and let's say you click on it at one of the points hold it and press shift you can go to the left in a straight line or you can go to the right in a straight line. All right, I'm just going to go back to our starting shape. You can also, if you click on a line in between two points, let's say for instance this line, you can also move those two points together. But you have to grab the line because if you don't then it selects the whole shape. And another example using the direct selection tool. I'm going to make this rectangle a little smaller. I'm going to copy it and paste another one next to it. And just so you can see the difference, I'm going to change the color of this box and let's just make it red. Alright, now I'm going to just overlap them and I'm going to make a group out of them. You don't need to learn this now, but I'm just trying to show how the direct selection tool, how it's a little more specific in what it grabs. The selection tool, if I grab this, it grabs both shapes as a group. I can't grab one or the other. It selects both of them. Now, the direct selection tool, if I click inside the the area of one of the, of the red rectangle, I can move it away from the black and I can also manipulate its points like it's a shape by itself and it's not grouped to anything. Whereas if I go back to the selection tool and I try to select it, it selects both of them again. But say you want to move this whole shape and you you don't want to move both of them because you can't move it with the selection tool. You can select that area and while it's selected, select the select tool and now you can move it independently. But if you click out of it and deselect it, and select it again it's going to select both of them and that is how the direct selection tool works